Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And at Google I.O. today, they announced a new Android O beta. So I was there for the live coverage of all of it. And now it's time to take a look at all of the new features. Now I did cover the first Android O preview. So I'm just going to talk about the new features that they've included with this beta. So go ahead and check out my previous video if you wanna check out even some more new features coming to Android O in the future. Anyways, I've got my Pixel XL running the Android O beta. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what's new. So now to begin, let's go ahead and jump into settings, scroll down, go to system, go to about phone, and you'll see Android version O. So it is on the Android O beta. So if I go home, swipe down my recent app, you see Android beta program right there. First up would be the home launcher. If I press and hold it, jump into settings, you can change the icon shape to square, round corner, rectangle, squircle, and a cylinder. So let's see what happens if I try one of them. Doesn't really look very much different to me. So of course this might just be a placeholder. Let's try cylinder as well. Again, really doesn't look different to me as well. So again, there might be uh, just a placeholder not changing anything yet. Let's go ahead and try round corner rectangle. And same thing once again, but it is there. Uh, it doesn't look like it's really changing anything at the moment. Notification dots have been announced and you'll notice that if you look at some of the app icons, there's some little dots right there, even in a group of them. And it is color coded, so you'll see when I open up that group, the Twitter icon is a little bit blue, whereas in just a folder, it's not, it's more gray, and then the Gmail one is red as well. So what these actually mean is when you press and hold on them, it gives you a bit of a preview of whatever the notification is. So you see I have multiple Gmail notifications and it gives me uh, icons for who those are from. I can also go ahead and compose or go to my specific Gmail account. Now also with Twitter, if I press and hold on it as well, uh, you'll see 12 new notifications. I can hit new tweet or search as well. And now you can't act upon these specific notifications. All you can do is pretty much tap on it and you'll see the notification up top will actually go away. So I don't have a Twitter notification anymore, but it did jump into my notification setting. These dots are also in your app drawer as well. So you'll see Hangouts right here has a little dot, lets you know that there is a notification. There's also now an updated look to the pull down bar. So you'll see up at the top here, we've got our quick shortcuts, of course, six of them, but you'll see settings is right there. You have an arrow to go down. You can swipe down again with the date uh, in the bottom left-hand corner and a bit of a different look as well. So it's not as white, it's a little more gray. Uh, you do have all your standard shortcuts right here, including a nightlight one, the flashlight one as well, which doesn't seem to be active. Oh, there it goes. Uh, anyways, so you'll see that uh, the brightness bar got thrown up towards the top there. So you can use two fingers to expand it completely. Or once again, you can jump quickly into settings just by swiping down once. Smart text selection is now here. So basically all you have to do is double tap and it's going to recognize what's on the display. So if I go to the roost, which is a restaurant, I double tapped on it. You see it selected the entire thing because it sees that I capitalized the and roost and probably some other factors as well. Now, if I go ahead and double tap on this phone number, oops, double tap on the phone number, you'll see a phone icon pops up. It recognizes that it's a phone number and I can quickly jump into my dialer. Now addresses, as well, you see I double tap on it and you'll see a map shortcut actually pops up. Oops, didn't mean to tap on that camera icon, but I also noticed when I go ahead and tap, double tap on addresses, it doesn't completely activate the number. Sometimes one, two, three, Oak Street, that's a very basic one, but 10 North Wacker, you see it didn't actually grab that drive as well. So hopefully in the future, of course, it will need a little bit more time to, to uh, develop, but right now you'll see it, it recognizes that it's an address. I can go right to my map. It's gonna take me to 10 North Wacker or Lyft Uber Maps. Now there's also updated emoji as well. So take a look at some of these new icons. As you can see, completely redesigned, really no blobs anymore. It's pretty much a bunch of circular faces. Uh, you'll definitely have to let me know what you think about uh, these updated emoji faces. Now I'm gonna press and hold on one and it looks like that didn't give me any option. So it doesn't look like it's giving me any option for any other colored emojis or anything like that. But you'll see here, just an updated look to their emojis. Definitely drop a comment, let me know if you like these. Now picture in picture mode is another new one and I can't get it to work on my device, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, but if you press home, it's gonna go ahead and maybe show a video, little icon that you should probably be able to move around. Luckily at Google I.O., let's check out this demonstration. But 
conventional multi-window techniques don't translate well to mobile. They're just too fiddly to set up with when you're on the go. We think picture in picture is the answer for many cases. So let's take a look. My kids recently asked me to build a lemonade stand. So I opened up YouTube and I started researching DIY videos. And I found this one. Now, at the same time, I want to be able to jot down the materials I need to build for this lemonade stand. So to multitask, all I do is press the home button and boom, I get picture in picture. You can think of it as a kind of automatic multi-window. I can move it out of the way, I can launch keep, I can add some more materials, so I know I need to get some uh, wood glue, like so. Then when I'm done, I just simply swipe it away like that. It's brilliant. There's also some added security as well to scanning apps. So let's jump into settings and go to security and you'll see verify apps right here. It recently scans apps. So it scans device for security threats. So it'll uh, peer regularly check your device. It will scan your apps and that's in the Play Store as well. So they scan uh, apps in the Play Store for any security threats. Now the settings app in general looks different. It is definitely reorganized. You'll see network and internet, connected devices, apps and permissions display, and then you have an advanced option to go to some more advanced settings. Now I did notice under battery, uh, it now houses adaptive brightness and, and uh, sleep. So that uh, has moved actually from display. However, I noticed adaptive brightness is under display as well, but sleep timeout is there under advanced. So it is now in both, which is a little interesting. Seems a little redundant to have it under both settings. I also noticed under display settings and advanced, they had the device theme still and i tapped on pixel it really uh, didn't do much and then i tapped on android auto generated and exact same so it is nice that that is there it's probably just another placeholder might be an option to theme stock android in the upcoming future and then overall there's some system optimizations they made some background limits to help battery life and autofill coming very soon and that's pretty much it. So definitely go ahead and let me know what you think about the Android O beta. If you're running it, if it's going well, how do you like the notification dots, the new uh, emoji, all that good stuff. So go ahead and let me know. Go ahead and subscribe for more, especially as new uh, betas come out. I will update you on everything that's new. So click that subscribe button so you're notified. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.